In Zurich, there's a woman with incredible sensory powers. When Elizabeth Sulzer hears music, she can see it and taste it too. When I listen to music, I always see the colors and the forms. This fusing of her senses gives Elizabeth a big advantage. She has an astounding memory. I always see the colors. I cannot go anywhere without colors. I see a stripe and there are many colors on it. But when I'm walking in the street and I hear a car, and when a mobile is ringing, then I always see the colors, if I can hear the note. But also if I hear a dog barking, or birds, then it's like music, then there are many colors. The head of neuropsychology at the University of Zurich tracked Elizabeth Salsa down and immediately began testing her. He had a suspicion that she might have something called synesthesia, which is the rare neurological condition that joins senses. But what really caught Dr. Yanka off guard was the incredible extent of her powers. There is no other synesthete in the world showing the same ability like Elizabeth. So she is, I would say, she is unique in her ability. There are fewer than a thousand synesthetes in the world who see color with tone, and fewer than 500 who have taste with tone. But she is the only person in the world to combine color, musical intervals, and taste. For all the magic the colors bring, it's a show only she can see. My childhood was quite a dark time. I always felt um, somehow special and um, isolated also from others. When I was 16, I was out with a friend of mine and it started to rain. And then I heard a G and at the same time I saw that the G was blue. And then I went through all the scale and I saw that each note has his own specific color. And this was the first time when I was conscious of the colors. Then I asked my friend if she can see colors when she listens to music and she found that I'm a little bit strange. Yeah, it was just a strange feeling that I'm alone and not as the others. And Elizabeth is not like others. When Dr. Yanka scanned her brain, he found it hardwired like no one else's. We found there is a specific uh, connection between the color areas, between the taste areas, and with, between the auditory areas. The neural pathways in Elizabeth's brain connecting her sight, sound, and taste appear to be surging with activity. In average people, these connections are almost dormant. But before Dr. Yanka had diagnosed her synesthesia, Elizabeth had no idea what was happening to her and was discovering new dimensions to her power. A few weeks after I found out about the colors and the notes, I realized that I also have a taste on my tongue when I hear two different notes in a certain distance. A second minor is sour, a second major is bitter, and a sixth minor is creamy. I didn't know what it was. I was very frightened of myself, and I thought that I will get crazy. Dr. Jamie Ward has a theory that synesthesia does more than just fuse the senses. He believes it may also give her a superior memory. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello. Thank you for coming to London. But he's about to discover her ability is far more advanced than he ever imagined. It's not just music Elizabeth sees in colour, it's also in the words spoken to her. Maybe you could describe to me what you see and where you see it when I say a word like window. So what colours would you see, for example? I see white because of the I and black because of the O. 
And the W in the beginning, this is um, olive green. So you would see the word in colours about three or five metres away? Yes, yes. always. OK. Mm -hmm. Well, that's very interesting that your words are kind of outside of your body and a few metres away. Not everybody has this. It's quite unusual. So, Elizabeth, what I'm going to do is I'm going Dr. to... Dr. Ward is going to read off 15 words to Elizabeth, and he wants to see how many she can remember. Right, so let's give it a go. Drum, curtain, bell, coffee, school, curtain, parent, house, moon, garden... Coffee. She got 10 out of 15, which is slightly above average, but that's not the real test. Yeah. OK, now we'll do a, a different test that's going to test your memory for colours. Did you see Elizabeth doesn't know it, but this new test is designed to distract her. Dr Ward really wants to see if she can remember the original list of words after half an hour of new information. Now what I'd like you to do is try and remember words from the original list that I read aloud to you. Could you do that? OK. Drums, curtain, bell, coffee, school, parents, moon... In fact, Elizabeth remembered 14 of the original 15-word list, which is four more words than she recalled immediately after hearing them half an hour ago. This is almost unheard of. House, river. OK, that's very good. The results from Elizabeth's experiment were really interesting. What we found was is that she does have a better ability to remember information once she's learnt it. So though she learns the a list of words as well as other people, she doesn't seem to forget it like other people do. So it's almost as if it's burnt into her memory. And we think that she's almost certainly using her colours to do this. Elizabeth has proved Dr Ward's theory and an enhanced memory is something we could all benefit from. Soon, Elizabeth will at last get the chance to meet someone just like her. Yellow word. Um, and the beginning with C is yellow. Do you oh, find that? Right. No, I don't at all. Because um, clarinet would be quite a pinkish word. But pinkish purple. Yeah. It has a lot to do with the vowel sounds. Yes. Um, Hello. Hey. Well, we were sort of expecting you, I think. Wonderful. So you are also here for the DNA test? Yes. 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 So what's your name? Ila. Elizabeth looks to be beautiful, uh -huh. yellow, and bright red, and very ah, nice. super. Yes. So I have a very beautiful, bright name. Very. Yeah. very I always nice. thought I have a dark name. What's your name? Tessa. Tessa. Mm. The S is yellow. Yeah. So it. Yes. Anyone else got yellow? Yes. 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 I heard that there is somebody who has also a synesthesia for taste. Yes. yes. Oh, this is him. Ah, so it's him. Yes. Hello. Pleased to to meet you. Yeah, I'm yes, Elizabeth from Switzerland. Yeah. And you must be um, James Wanathan. And, and what do you taste when you hear that, uh, Elizabeth? Elizabeth tastes of, um, it's like a nice thick cake. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what instruments do you play? I play the flute. Yeah, this is the beginning of a um, slow piece from Vivaldi. This is a oh, line. Of course. Um, do you have taste with music? I do, because I was going to ask Elizabeth, yeah. because yeah. You, you taste music and I can taste words. Yeah, yeah. Um, we should speak would about be, this. It would be nice if we could go, go to an opera or something, because then we could... <laughs> do you want to <laughs> Before I thought I cannot talk to anybody and they don't understand me. But now I felt like we speak in the same language. It was really a special feeling. How did you hear about this musician? Oh, it's a friend of mine, see? She was great. Right. I, I like her voice. Uh, I've heard her before and she gives, um, gives him some fantastic flavours. I mean, that piece she did today was uh, like lots and lots of yoghurt flavours and pineapple. Yoghurt? Mm. You, your name is, is good, your, your first name at least. But your surname tastes of um, tomato ketchup. How about that? Very... Ah, that's not nice too. Mm. Well, it doesn't go very nice with the cake. 